Oh, it's into my rim. But we live at one, baby! <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> Mr. Kurtastic, he calced for that, guys. Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to the VGC Battle Sim Regulation G video. Bringing you Empoleon. Yes, not Empoleon, Empoleon. Why? Because I was accidentally typing it on my computer when I told Mike I was going to do an Empoleon team and I accidentally put two O's in it and I thought it was funny. So it's Empoleon now. Anyway, speaking of poo, we have a Ho-Oh team. <laughs> speaking of Ho-Oh, it's a Kurtastic team on top of it all. Kurtastic. Thank you so much for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. This is probably the one of the mo more unhinged intros I've had in a very long time, but I hope you guys are okay with that, you know? Have a good time here today. But yeah, Mr. Grotastic made a team, post it on the Discord. If you guys want to go ahead and post a team on the Discord, you gotta join it. Pokesports.info has every link that you ever need to join that Discord. And then I might play the team here on the channel. Today we have an Emboleon team. Emboleon's rocking competitive, rocking the assault vest with the flash cannon, water pledge because I hate missing moves. Ice Beam and Priority Vacuum Wave holding the Fairy Terror as well to avoid things like the ground and some punches. Anyway, Empoleon has the ability competitive. Great into instant, great into any Intimidators, great into any Icy Wind Flutter mains. You can just kind of sit there and get stat boosts for no reason. I think specifically Intimidate is like the biggest one that procs competitive. But sometimes they're like little nuanced things that proc competitive that we forget about. Things like Electro Web, things like um, you get a special defense drop because of a Shadow Ball, or if there's a special attack drop because of a Moon Blast. There's all little nuanced things that competitive can come in handy with, especially when you're holding a Salt Vest. And Polyon with the Water and Steel typing is so tanky and it's such a strong typing that it's crazy that it's not played a little more. I'm not saying it has to be on every single team replacing Water Shifu, but maybe just a little more. <laughs> You know, competitive is the new thing that it got. Thank God it doesn't have defined anymore. And uh, yeah, let's use it. I'm excited. Anyway, this is a Ho-Oh team, by the way. We're running Sacred Fire Ho-Oh with Brave Bird, Recovery, and Protect, holding the clear amulet. Standard Ho-Oh stuff with a Grass Terror, just in case we're up against any Kyogres. Whimsicott's here with the Encore and the Tailwind for the supporting stuff. Grimstar, our secondary support, also has a form of speed control in the Thunder Wave. Ogre Palm with the Redirection and the Rock Stabs. Bonkin' and Sins over the head. This is a very anti instant team. Bonkin' and Sins over the head with that Ivy Cudgel. And then last but not least, we have the Raging Bolt doing standard Raging Bolt things with the Life Orb this time around, though. It's a little different, I will say. It's usually a Salt Vest or Magnet or something along the like, booster energy. But I'm down for some Life Orb. I'm down for some extra damage, and I think it's gonna do some, some, some good work. Raging Bolt's good. What can I say? Anyway, y'all excited to see him pull on action? Go ahead, hit the like button, never subscribe, Poke Sports, if you haven't done so already. But with that said, let's get on to today's video. Is that a Torterra, homie? Okay. So Galio Torterra plus Annihilate. Uh, different. Double grounds. Yeah, Electro Fury, you're staying behind today. Double grounds, double grass. And I don't even know if I need Tailwind here. I'll tell you what, I want to go Wim and I'm going to go Ho-Oh -Oh right away. I'll bring him pull into the back, but it's not going to be the best Pokemon on my side of the field. I think last but not least, maybe I want to go with... Uh, maybe I do want to go... Electro Fury. I'm, eh. I do and I don't. I mostly don't, though. I'll just go Ogre Pond. It'll be a pretty decent switch into their grass types, if anything. Not really. Because it's neutral, but... You yeah, know, it's still a good, nice Ivy Cudgel onto any Pokemon that I want, minus Ogalio. Not to mention, it's a follow-me bot. Once I get my Empoleon on the field, once I get it set up and ready to go... It's gonna be a good time. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna go all-in right now on this Annihilate. We are going to keep this nice and simple. We're going to Tailwind. And we're going to Brave Bird. And we're not going to think about anything else. Especially if this is a final game of Ape. I want it gone. I don't want to be here when it's doing its thing. They're going to Terrastalize right away into ground? How many ground types you need, my guy? Thank goodness they didn't bring Raging Bolt. Don't tell me they have, like, Rock Slide or something crazy. I just want Annihilate Gun. That's all I wanted. 
I final gambited him before he can final gambit me. All right, what the lion do? Psychic fangs, that did hurt too. All right. I mean, I can lock them onto psychic fangs if I want to. I don't know how that helps me though. I think I'm just gonna swap out, get my regenerator going. Let's see if I can swap into something I like. The thing is, like, I want to terrestrialize my Empoleon this game simply because of all the ground types they have on their team. I'm gonna want my Empoleon to get away from that steel typing. Speaking of ground types, there's no way they go for a ground type move in my Ho-Oh though, right? That would be a little shocking. Let, let me just go for the hard swap into my Empoleon. This is a little risky, but I really don't think they go for a ground move on my, my ho -Oh slot. It's like, why would you? They go for a sludge bomb into my Wimmy and then maybe another Psychic Fangs. All right, there's a sludge bomb. Perfect. Don't EQ, please. An EQ on me right now would be actually worst case scenario. Oh good, they just rock slide. They had rock slide! Okay, they have rock slide psychic fangs. Good to know, good to know, good to know. I think I'm going back in a ho -oh and I'm gonna double swap again. Just to get even more health back. Or I could just recover. Now what if I just recover? No, because then I died a rock slide again. Okay, yeah. I, mean, I double swap into my Ogre Pond here, right? Hit battle, go for Fairy Terror, hit the Ice Beam. Yeah, I think that's the play. Just go for this Landorus all in. So I also don't think the Landorus is about to go for... I mean, they could EQ EQ, but no, they, they rock slide again. The Landorus could go for Sludge Bomb, predicting a Fairy Terra from my Empoleon. That's a little brave though, right? To make a call like that this early in the game. With my terrestrialization still in the air. And the good news, now that there are ground type on the Soul Galio, I could actually just hit it with the power whip. I have that option still waiting in the wings. All right, Empoleon, welcome to your video. We outspeed everything. Here's an ice beam. Sayonara. Peace out. Nice. And Polyon's getting a KO in the video, baby. Woo! Great news for us. And they just rock slide again. Perfect. Ogre doesn't even care. Show me your last. I vacuum wave it. Okay. And yo, l listen, and Polyon's about to get, get some mileage. I'm going to power whip here. And vacuum wave there. We're about to straight one shot. Pop. Yo, that's so much damage. <laughs> Followed by the power rip. Also so much damage. We don't play around with Empoleon, man. We are gaming right now. Having a good old time. Sacred Sword. Listen, good job. You got rid of my, my Ogre Pond. But the true hero is still on the field, folks. Our Tailwind's gonna eventually peter. My ho is gonna come back in at full health. This ho is kind of dumb that way. And all we gotta do is Brave Bird, the Vacuum Wave. That'll be a GG, folks. Battle was canceled. Taking a dub. Starting the day off fresh with Empoleon. Okay. Listen, Empoleon got two KOs technically because it would have KO'd that Chen Pao in the first battle. It's looking pretty good. It's going to be a good day. On to the next. Crowd on Sun Team with a Sableye. Double Paradox Legendary Beast as well. Also, they got a little bit of an E-Speed thing going on here. Uh, I'm a little, a little afraid. I'll be honest. Not even Ho-Oh likes to hear that much. Tell you what, against this team, I'm definitely going to want screens, right? They're going to be doing so much damage to me. 
Are they mowing Grim? Grim Ogre Pond, bring Empoleon in the back, bring Ho-Oh -Oh in the far back, leave my Raging Bolt behind. Because, like, what does a Raging Bolt really do into another Raging Bolt and into E-Speed and into Groudon? Like, nothing. Yeah, Th there's going to be a time and a place for Raging Bolt, specifically when I'm up, when I'm up against the Maridon, not a Groudon. Different kind of done. All right, red hair, don't care. Let you go with that side ponytail. All right, they're going to go Groudon plus Sableye? Not what I expected. I'll be honest. But it's what I got. Tell you what, I'm going to Spear Break Sableye and hit the Spiky Shield. I don't want to deal with Will-O-Wisp. So I'd rather punch it in the face. Not to mention it can always recover next turn. Perfect. I'm, mu I'm much more happy that they went for the Protect rather than anything else. Yeah, maybe Willow is somebody else, dude. Come on, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Roselli Berry. Never mind. Look at you go. You will take that very well. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to do it again. And then here, I'm just going to swap into Ho-Oh for now. To take the incoming P-Blades. Because there's no way they go for a Rock Slide here, man. That'd be the craziest thing ever. So go ahead. Try to Willow my Fire type. Best of luck. Ho-Oh. Proven to me why it should be the Restricted. Oh, they're going to Terra. You know what? In front of the one with the rock move? Interesting. Well, no will o -Wisp. They tried again, though. Respect. He crashed this time. Oh, it's into my rim. But we live at one, baby! <laughs> Calculated. Mr. Cartastic, he calced for that, guys. He calced for it. He knew. He absolutely knew. Why wouldn't he know? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi. Hello, Electro Furious. All right, what are we doing against this thing now? I'm gonna, for now, set up Reflect. And I'd love to get my Ogre Pond back on the field, but... It doesn't seem like I have the opportunity to. So I think I'm just going to Grass Terra. See if I can get a burn off on this Raging Bolt for now. We'll deal with this Groudon later some way, somehow, some shape, some form. I'm sad that I won't be able to terrestrialize my Ogre Pond later this game, but hey. Whatever. Oh, well. All right, let's get this Reflect up. At the very least. Get a Sacred Fire going. Nice chip damage there in the sun. No burn, though. They just... They have Brick Break? Oh, well, there goes my screen. Brick Break Don? Dude. That is different. Perfect. That did no damage. All right, at this point, what do we do? I'm definitely Ogre Pond, but they're also definitely protecting with Groudon. So I'm thinking I throw double attacks into this Raging Bolt. Yeah, I think I'm double attacking the Raging Bolt here. So Groudon's protecting for the Ivy Cudgel. Yeah. Good. Good turn for me. Great damage. I can't miss this though. Nice. Get that bolt out of here! That's the only thing standing in front of my Empoleon's way. Only thing. Alright, show me your last. Do your worst. What you got? Disgusting. Um, I might just die immediately. Uh, but I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel first. Let's hard swap an Empoleon now. I do have Vacuum Wave for that. Ooh, I have Vacuum Wave for that. I sure do. 
Hope I don't get punished for this Empoleon swap. I should still have Sturdy too on my Ogre Pond, so I at least get one hit in here and I can click follow me every other turn. All right, Empoleon, welcome to the party. There's the Ice Cool Crash. We should eat this. Oh, look at that. Look at that swap. I have cudgel now. Straight one shot the ground on thanks to the Chen Pao, baby. Woo. Yo, we're getting reads right this game. Harsh sunlight's gonna fade. Guess what, buddy? You ain't got no terrestrialization. All we gotta do. Ivy Cudgel. Vacuum wave. Good luck, Chen Pao. Battle was canceled. Empoleon did nothing. But you know what? It took that ice cool crash like it was a champion. GG's take another dub today. Not too bad, not too shabby. We take those! On to the next. Brother, there's a Cyclozar. Oh, that only shed tails, right? Nothing else? Like, what else does it do? No I think nothing. I think it's quite literally just shed tail. Huh. Well, I'm terrified. I'm gonna go Empoleon right away. And I'm gonna go... Where? I don't know. This is a little rough. A little spooky, a little scary. I wouldn't mind Tailwind. But it's not necessary. I'm gonna hold Electro Fear for the back line. I'm gonna bring Empoleon right away. Empoleon and Grimmy. But I would love me some Ogre Pond here. Ogre Pond, like low key, would be really good here. It's okay. I think I'm gonna have to hold my Terra on Ho Oh. That's the one I want. Grass Terra on Ho here goes really far, especially if they decide to Grass Terra their Ogre to avoid anything that I have on my side of the field. I'll be able to Brave Bird them and get rid of them. Now, the one thing I'm a little concerned about is the fact that uh, I will only have Brave Bird that I can go with because fire in rain, not good. All right, my opponent thankfully doesn't look too confident. Oh, thank you so much for the free plus one, baby. We take these. We absolutely take these. Thank you. And Polyon out here getting a free plus two. Oh, it's so good. All right, well, eat water, Ensign. Um, and at this point, I'm gonna assume an ogre's coming there. And I'm going to Spirit Break it. To see if I can get rid of the, the Shed Tail. That's fine. Here's a Shed Tail. I don't believe this will... Get rid of the sub, but hey, I could try. They didn't have a multi-scale on their side of the field, so it's not like I'm scared of that. This would just be raw, regular damage onto the Winogre. Okay. I just set up light screen next turn, my guy. I know Ogre doesn't like punches. Okay, I didn't do enough. Oh, well. Um... What do they got in the back? Nothing wants to take a water move. I could just vacuum wave to break it. And set up light screen, yeah. That should be fine. Nice and simple vacuum wave. A plus two vacuum wave should be enough to break it at that point. And then we, we, we would have just wasted their sub. I'm not too mad about that. Then next turn we just start T waving things. They're actually going to terrestrialize their ensign? Why? What's the goal here? I went for the other guy. Alright, we got rid of their sub. Alright, sub, sub destroyed. Light screen's up now. We probably have to take a max damage water spout to the face, but wish me luck. Thunder? We ate it. 
parting shot. Okay. They want to give me another plus two. Listen, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take anything I can get here. Who are they going into now? What's their thought process now? Are they going back into Psychozar? Golden Go. Here for the Golden Show. Um. I'm glad I got light screen up. I'm just gonna water pledge this golden go and throw a T wave at this ogre. Slow the ogre down, make it a slow ogre. See if I can just get a free plus two water pledge in the rain on this golden go. Like I, I'll, I, I'll take that and I'll run with it. All right, let's slow this ogre down. Should be slower than my Empoleon now. Also, I love introducing hacks to the game. The Shadow Ball, we should eat this. AV come through, dude. Special Defense falling, that isn't the greatest thing ever, but now we're at plus four. <laughs> Enjoy this pledge of water. Bop. Bye-bye. See you later. All right. Well, I'm now dead unless they para. Well, they didn't do that. Mm -mm. There I go. I'll tell you what, this is uh, still okay. I think. What do you guys think? Are they specs, maybe? I'm gonna go in a ho. How -oh. are oh, you thinking, Kevin? Okay, why'd you go in the Rage Bolt? Because they're gonna bring back Ensign. And they have a fake on turn this next turn, so. I at least wanna make them feel like they're safe, even though they're not. Now, I could set up a Reflect, but there's no point, right? Can we all agree there's no point? So I'm just gonna protect here. Let me throw another T Wave at the Ensign this time. Yep, there's a fake out. I get a free T-Wave on the Ensign, and now I get the free hard swap into my... Okay, I guess I don't get a free T-Wave on Sanson. Because I'm Kevin, and I miss my moves. They switched on over to Origin, Pul Origin Pulse, so they're not Specs, which also means they could have Protect. It's all good info to have. Alright, at this point, I think I have all the win conditions I need on the field. I got a full health ho oh and a full health Raging Bolt here. I'm going to Grass Terra, and I'm going to throw literally everything I have into this Ensign right now. Because the Ensign going for a Parting Shot is what's going to slow me down, and I'm not having that. Bye. If only I would have seen that coming. <laughs> Back into Mr. Regenerator. Cycles are here. Oh, are they going to be able to do it again? Yeah, they are, aren't they? Well, they're not able- if I'm able to knock out the instant this turn, they won't be able to shut tail out into anything. So if I- if I am able to do this much damage to instant, that, that'd be best case scenario. We'll see it. Great damage. No citrus, no citrus. Thunderbolt should be enough. Life orb. Get out of here, they can't shut tail again. Woo! Which means... They're kind of stuck on the field right now, man. They're kind of stuck. I did take a lot of recoil. Rain's gonna stop, but they're just gonna set it right back up. At this point, I'm pretty sure they protect Ogre. So I don't know if I should maybe just try to keep my Electro Fury a little safe. I'm gonna double the cycles are. Cause I should be able to live anything Ogre, Ogre throws at me, right? Decent damage. Which means Cycles are is attacking this turn. Their eye spinning, okay. I might lose my Raging Bolt this turn if they have Ice Beam on that Ogre. No, they have Water Spout, presumably Protect? Origin Pulse, they could have Ice Beam. No, they have Thunder, right? They, they went for Thunder. Oh, they're AV, they have both. Oh, we live it though, okay. Fine by me. All right, Mr. AV. Let's make you regret that decision. Thunderbolt should be fine. Battle was canceled. They don't even want it. They don't even want it, man. 
I think, yeah, their only saving grace was if they were, would have been able to knock a Mirage Bolt there. But thankfully, they weren't able to. We take that. We run with it. GG's. On to the next. Let's go ahead and throw another battle here at the end. Still undefeated, so we'll take that with Embolian. Up against Rock. Rock with the Tarapa. Good. This feels like a very similar team to what I just faced. But somehow scarier. Tell you what, let's go Empoleon again. The same way we did like last game. We'll see if they, they want to get baited onto the instant lead. I love Raging Bolt here, don't get me wrong, but... Actually, let's go Empoleon plus Wimmy. Bring Ho-Oh, bring Raging Bolt in the back. Lock those four in. I don't have a great way into that Chiyu because I decided to leave my Ogre Pond behind this game. Why did I decide to leave Ogre Pond behind this game? I, I wish I can go back because like low-key they got three things weak to Ogre Pond. Oops. <laughs> you know why? You know why I left Ogre Pond behind this game? Because I had to leave room for Empoleon, you know? That's why. Empoleon's a showcase, not Ogre Pond. We've done enough Ogre Pond showcases pretty much every day that we upload a video. Alright, four seconds left on the clock. Three seconds standing by Rock. What did you choose, Rock? Was it Rach? It might be Rach. Like Rachel. They just didn't finish the name. Okay. I'm feeling like it's more Rachel than Rock right about now. Definitely feeling the Rach. All right, Rillaboom Pelper going to be my opponent's lead. All right. I don't think Rillaboom can one-shot me. I could be wrong. But I don't think it do. So you know what? I'm just going to hit Protect and I'm going to hit Ice Beam. I'm hoping they click fake out on Wimmy and then, then they're gonna try to finish Wimmy off with a hurricane. So I'm gonna hit protect this turn. See if I can avoid that from happening. And get some free free damage off on this real boom. And also see if I can onk with them onto that fake out. Okay, they fake out of the Empoleon, fair enough. And oh, what does the Pelper do? Hurricane, okay. Alright, I'm gonna onk with them onto that fake out though. The next turn I set up Tailwind. Unless they go for No, even if they go for Grassy Glad, they're 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 still I'm faster. Let's Encore. I'ma make you regret that, man! Listen, I've been waiting all day to click Encore. Haven't done it yet. I've tried to. I haven't been able to. Are they going to make the Rilla swap, though? Nope. They're on cord. Ha <laughs> Have fun faking out nothing, pal. Are right, they going to be forced to swap their next turn? They just Tailwind. Perfect. They get to keep my Sash and get an extra turn of Tailwind. Haha, <laughs> they wanted the Tailwind, uh... I would hammer me. Nope. Ice Beam. Decent damage. They're definitely Soul Vest. They have to swap that Rilla Boom slot out now. Let's see who they're going to swap into, though. It's going to be Terrapagos. It's got to be something neutral to water. So I'm just going to go for the water pledge in the rain. And I'm going to encore them onto Tailwind now, because I can. I might force the double swap, which is extra funny here. My Whimsicott is an absolute menace. Look at that face. Whimsicott's just like... I'm having a good old time. I'll Tailwind next turn. I don't have to Tailwind. If they can't attack me, I don't need to be faster. <laughs> oh, are they pinned? Rach, do I got you pinned, Rach? There's the hard swap on Rilla. Show me something neutral to water. Good enough to me. They might have to double swap here. No, they don't. They don't. 
They're gonna have to double swap that turn next turn. Or that slot next turn. Keep setting up tailwinds. And water pledge. Great damage there, too. Okay, okay. Um. I'm gonna try to get. I think I'm gonna finally set up my tailwind. I'm gonna try to pick that Ensign. Not Ensign, that Rillaboom a little bit more. Because now the Pelper has to swap again. Because they can't stay on the field getting on cord the whole time. It defeats the whole purpose of playing the game. So they're probably gonna have to swap back in the, the Rillaboom. I'm gonna get a free Ice Beam on that. And even if they swap into, the, in the, into their Terrapagos, we break the, uh, the Terra Shell. Okay, they do swap into Terrapagos. I was calling the Rilla, I was wrong. But hey, it's okay to be wrong sometimes. I was right about the attacking slot though. Nice, free pre uh, free, free attack. They're lucky I can't encore that guy. I can't encore that one, but I sure would love to. All right, nice little ice beam chip. Nice little ice beam crit. And at this point, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm just gonna water pledge here. I think I'm gonna toss a Moonblast into this Terrapagos. Yeah, I think I'm doubling the ghost right now. I just gotta get the, the Terrapagos slow enough to where I can either encore it because it's scared and it needs to protect, or I just vacuum wave it. I have both of those options, thankfully. We still haven't done any damage to my opponent's side of the field. They actually did a very good job switching out of their encores. Um, but you know what? They haven't done any damage to me either. I've definitely done a lot more damage to them than they have done to me. They might have been scared and forgot about good as gold there. Because they hit protect. But also, maybe not. Maybe they just wanted to protect and swap out. Alright, they just go for a regular... Vanilla Terra Star Storm. We're AV, so we eat this. They don't want to burn Terra on Terrapagos. Fine by me! Peace out! See you later, pal! Great damage there, yo. Empoleon right now is having a good time. Empoleon just like, yo, I'm a penguin. Alright, terrain disappears, weather disappears. It's almost like Terrapagos clicked Stellar Terra without telling anybody. Speaking of terror, they still have one. What do you guys think? Do you think they want to click protect again? Or click fake out again in front of me? That'd be a little wild. Okay, well now that Terrapagos is gone, I can just grass terror and be fine, right? I have a feeling like Rillaboom. Maybe I should hold Terra. You never know I'm going to need it in the back. I have a feeling that Rillaboom is going to fire Terra. I don't know why. I'm going to make a prediction. I think I'm ahead enough. Okay, I was wrong. It, it happens. It's fine. I'm getting fake out on the Napoleon slot anyway. No, they're afraid of fake out. Yeah, I went for water pledge. I thought a fire Terra was coming. It looks like I'm just getting wood hammered here. Or high horse. That would be the super effective one. Alright. Not in a great spot. I still have Tailwind for one turn though. Alright, I think I'm doubling this Rillaboom now. Yeah, let's double down on Rilla. They're going for blind hurricanes at this point, so we'll let them roll that dice. I'll set up Tailwind and get a guaranteed the following turn. I still have Sash intact, so. Unless they like Grassy Glide plus Hurricane me and hit that Hurricane on my Whimsicott slot, we should be okay. Why did I say that out loud? Because that might mess me up. Who knows? Eh, do I, do I really need Tailwind? All right, back in a Golden Go. 
We know they're Avion Rilla. Okay, they just glide. That's fine. We're keeping my Terra's up, so I don't mind. And the Tailwind's gonna get guaranteed up too. Hey, special attack. Dropped. How about we put some pressure on their side of the field? What you guys think? Ho! -oh? I'm thinking ho! -oh. I'm thinking ho! -oh, and I'm also thinking Brave Bird into the Rillaboom slot. And Tailwind. Cause either they swap that out or they lose their Rilla for no reason. I have a feeling they're gonna want to swap it out into the ho -oh, into the Pelipper though. And even then, Brave Bird onto a Pelipper, that's a lot of free damage. I think I have everything I need here to win. Like, with the whim and with the Empoleon just being an absolute nuisance in the beginning, I was able to pick off a lot of important HP points. Especially the Terrapagos. Picking off the Restricted like that, it's like really, really big. Alright, Pelipper's coming in. How much HP did the Pelipper have? Did I do any damage to this thing? Maybe like a Moon Blast or two, right? N no. <laughs> Oops. No, nothing. Nothing, Kevin. You did nothing. All right, Tailwind's up. Brave Bird is a brave bird and so much damage there. Oh, baby. Make it rain. Make me care. Okay, this next turn is rather simple, I think. Especially now that they're negative one special attack. We just go for the Sacred Fire anyway. Let's finish off this Pelly. This one HP Pelipper. There's nothing their Golden Goat can do to my Ho-Oh. -Oh. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing's not going down. They might switch the Rillaboom in and Golden Go out to reset its stats, but even then, that's just playing passively. Also, this is a Weather Ball Pelipper with Hurricane, Wide Guard, Tailwind. No Protect. It looks like no Protect, and no swaps coming out of that Golden Go either. Curious how much my Sacred Fire is going to do in the rain. I doubt it's going to do a lot, but they are at half health. Ooh, that's good damage, though. That's a decent burn, too. Doesn't matter because of the grassy terrain, but you know what? Oh, well. Oh, they're leaving my whim on the field. Yeah, ho -Oh's not. <laughs> ho -Oh doesn't care, dude. ho -Oh is just like, dude, do you know who I am? I created the legendary beasts. I'm the one that did it. Hey, Rillaboom. I'm gonna hit recover for funsies and moon blast to finish off the golden go. They might fake out if they want, but I'll leave that up to them. If they really want to do that, be my guest. This battle is going a lot longer than I thought it was. I, I think originally I made this like a four battle video because we had like a really short first and second battle. But then I didn't expect the fourth battle to be this long. <laughs> oh, fine. Oh, I, I forgot there's a Terra left. Okay, so here's the Terrasalization. It's the Golden Go at one HP? Oh, for a little bit more damage, I guess. I still think my Moonblast is going to be enough, right? Maybe I overestimate my moon blasting. They win for fake out in front of me? Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. You guys know what I'm gonna do, right? You guys know what I'm gonna do. I I know what I'm gonna do. Just the same way it started is gonna be the way it ended. You dare click grassy glide in front of me? Brave Bird, Encore, GG's, Battle of Scant. <laughs> Woo!
Mr. Kurtastic. You got yourself an undefeated team in today's video. Guys, let me know what you think of Empoleon down below in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you guys thought of it, how it did in today's video. What sets you would run if you're running Empoleon? Would you do the same set? Would you do something different? What did you like? What did you hate? How was your day? What color is the sun? And uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to check out Mr. Kurtastic's stuff and leave a like on your way out of this video or on this video. And have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. I'm Kevin Sports. Peace out and bye-bye.